A disclaimer, uh, a lot of people skim over the disclaimers. They're important, you should read them. Um, one thing in here you'll notice is we have put our equivalent calculations in for our zinc and silver project in Alaska. So if you don't agree with our numbers, you can put your own numbers in and come to your own conclusions. Um, but um, please read that at your convenience. With regards to the company, we've got three assets. We've got Woods Point Gold Mine, a small narrow vein gold mine in Victoria, uh, high grade, Red Mountain, Alaska, which is a large scale exploration program with uh, two VMS resources, and Mount Carrington in New South Wales, which we have a JV partner at Thompson Resources Advancing Exploration. So we've got a, a diversified portfolio, US assets and Australian assets, very high grade gold mine in production in Victoria, very low market cap, um, significant leverage for growth. That's a very nice way to say it is cheap and uh, a refreshed and experienced board uh, on now in place. So um, there's just heaps of upside here. This little project has a long way to go. Moving on to the corporate snapshot. Now, most people you'll find in, a, in the small cap companies will put up a corporate snapshot. It's really important to have good people around these companies. Uh, you know, we're in the ramp up of a little gold mine in Victoria, it's not easy. Um, people who've been involved in it know it's not easy. We've got a great team supporting our team at the mine. We've got Peter Mangano there, who's a, a long-term financial analyst out of, the, out of the financial space. Paul, who's a very good businessman out of Sydney. Uh, myself, who's been lucky enough to be in mining for about 35 years. I know I don't look it, but uh, 35 years in mining. And Jason, of course, who's um, one of the more economic geologists I've ever met, so very good to have him on board. With regards to management, Shane, very experienced company secretary and accountant, and Lionel, who heads up our little project in Victoria, there with his hard hat on and looking magnificent, um, but you've got no, there's no way you can not recognise what he's doing for a living. And uh, we've just recently joined the board, Jason, myself, and Peter joined back in July. So we're looking forward to getting in, putting our um, shoulder to the grindstone and making something of this company. As I said, very high quality portfolio of assets, Woods Point, fully permitted gold mine in Victoria. Obviously that doesn't set, get said a lot. Fully permitted in Victoria are all in the same sentence. Pulled our first gold last month um, in a ramp up. We've got a great, great little team there, all very experienced, all handheld mines, mining there. So uh, narrow vein, high grade. The most important thing in these sorts of mines is you have lots of headings open, lots of stopes available and you make sure you do not dilute the ore. So this is a high grade gold mine, that's the most important thing is that we maintain the grade. As you can see there, historical um, mining of about 800,000 ounces at just over 26 grams a tonne, so very, very high grade. Red Mountain, um, it's a silver zinc dominated VMS resource so far. We've got a couple of resources there. Um, very good grade, zinc, silver, lead, copper and gold. It's a very exciting mineral field, everybody who I know that's looked at it loves it. Um, Jason will tell you all about it if you come to our booth and have a chat. And uh, look, we think that could be anything. And Mount Carrington, obviously, now in the safe hands of Thompson, who are advancing that project. So this is our gold plant in Victoria. It's a gravity plant. It's very straightforward. A couple of tables, a washer, a crusher, and some tails tanks, and a gold room. So it's a very, very straightforward little project. Um, it's a very highly prospective location. I'll go through that in a little bit. Uh, the Morningstar Mine Historical Production has been there around for over 100 years. Sorry, yeah, over 100 years. That should be 1862. I always love it when you notice a typo when you're up on stage. First gold poured uh, in October, so very, very new. We are in the ramp-up phase there. So far, we've averaged just over 10 grams a tonne, and there's lots of regional exploration potential there. And this plant, you can see <coughs> it's a nominal 80,000 tonnes a year plant, but that plant is actually worth more than our entire company, so we're thinking about. This is uh, a, a snapshot, or a, sorry, a, a section of the mine. You can see the pale yellow image there, that's the diorite dike, and the green um, slashes you see through there are approximations of where the gold-bearing veins are and have been. And you can see the development, it's got a main shaft with a, a skip, and it's got several levels. We're mining above nine level, um, we're in McNally's right now, and we're getting our way up to Dickinson South. We set up our ore haulage on levels four and level eight, so we will now rise up from eight to the various ore sources, rise up from four to the ore sources and drop the ore down the passes, and then take it to the skip. 
Um, interesting, obviously, they've been mining here for 100 years and we put a, a diamond drill rig in in this mine on the surface and we found more gold above eight level, which is where we're mining today. So um, it, there's, there's plenty more gold to come out of this place. Um, the gap zone is interesting. Interesting, I spoke to Mr Stackpole here today and he, he told me a bit of, bit of story about this mine, but it's just a very interesting place. From our perspective, there's no geological reason there shouldn't be gold in that gap zone, but it's never been mined. But the shaft goes right past it down to the bottom where uh, four or 500,000 ounces have been mined. This is the exploration story. You've got a large piece of ground here with lots of prospective areas. Um, you can see all those little prospects and the amount of gold that has been produced out of this tenement. Um, Woods Point, well, Hulla Goldfield, obviously over five million ounces over time. Just to the south of us, really the whole of Gra Holy Grail, really the ultimate prize, the Cohen Reef, about one and a half million ounces at 32 grams, so an ounce in the old, old terms, and the same continuous dike margin reef. So, Look, it's a very interesting area. Lots more to come out of here. Moving on to Alaska. That's actually Red Mountain. Um, it's a very picturesque area. Obviously, this is summer. Um, it has its, uh, its issues due, clearly during winter, but it's a very large district scale asset. Two silver, silver zinc dominated resources already. We've only had this asset for about five years. Um, we found many other targets which I'll get into and um, interestingly Alaska even with its climate and other issues is ranked number four <coughs> so it's a it's a very good jurisdiction for mining so this is a picture of the tenement holding we have if I can get this to work yep so this is the original piece we picked up we have dry creek which is a, a VMS deposit or a VMS resource WTF you can guess what that stands for um, use your imagination, but the W does not stand for what? Uh, Hunter, very interesting. You can see all these other targets. We found some very interesting copper rocks here at Kiwi, about 16% copper on the surface. This other piece of ground we picked up recently, you've got another VF VMS belt here, and this large gold target to the south. Um, on the surface, in this gold trend, we had about, we've picked up rock chips with 77 grams a tonne of gold in them and soils up to 7.1 grams per tonne gold. Um, oh, I've hit the wrong button, excuse me. This beautiful anomaly here, um, it's a stream sediment gold anomaly. Um, we'll use a technical term here. I don't use technical terms many in my presentations, so I'm not a technical person, but what I call this is a real ball terror. This is a sensational anomaly. Um, and as I said, the upside here from a gold perspective is really, really quite significant. A bit more on the Red Mountain project, you can see some of the challenges there in this beautiful picture. Obviously, we support the drilling with helicopters so that all the people, all the supplies uh, come in by helicopter. We have to build platforms because of the terrain. So it certainly has its challenges. But what the prizes are, things like this dry creeks. So this, this is a long section that's been compacted to all widths and the depth really has only been constrained by how much we've drilled. So open at depth, open out this way, and we've drilled through the, through the edge there. Look at these intercepts, really big numbers here, and one of the best ones right down here in the bottom, 1.4 metres of massive sulphides uh, running around about 35% zinc. So you could mine that basically on pretty much all of those numbers, or either in any of those numbers individually. But widths and grades amenable to mining, open cut at the surface where it's a bit broader and underground as we go down the project. So we're very excited about Alaska. Mount Carrington, I won't spend too much time here given it's now in the hands of David's teams at Thompson Resources, but well worth having a look at their website and seeing the strategic way they're trying to develop this project. So with regards to investment highlights, obviously we're a gold producer. Gold price um, obviously snuck up overnight. The US dollar seems to be weakening. Um, the, you know, the rush to gold, I, I presume, has begun. We've got a great little project in Victoria, resource expansion and opportunity in Alaska. We've got really lots of upside there on areas we haven't even looked at on that, on that ground. We're in the right sort of metals, precious and green metals. We built, rebuilt the team and, and refreshing new ideas and energy. And of course, um, a producing company with exploration upside and, um, as I said before, really cheap. Just to reiterate, so things are lots, lots of things are happening and uh, people seem to forget, but Red Mountain 
We, we produced a new resource back in February. Obviously, I wasn't there. The June, uh, Peter Mangano joined the board, and then we started to roll through a, a refreshment. Myself, I joined in October, as did Jason. We brought on, uh, a, obviously, a very, very experienced geologist. First gold being poured. The team at Woods Point are doing a great job on a small budget. Um, we're mining in new areas. McNally's Reef has begun, and we're developing to the other new areas at, at um, exhibition and others. Mount Carrington is out with somebody else. So we've got a production exploration in Australia, exploration in the USA, and very, very keen to see what we can make of this little company. If you've got any questions, come back to the booth. I'm happy to uh, have a chat with you. If you want to talk to someone smart, Jason might be there as well. Thanks very much.